Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're going to look at the brand new air source heat pump from Balboa called the Climber Zone. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I love new technology and this week I had the chance to check out the brand new air source heat pump from Balboa, the Climber Zone. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to see it working, so my ideas, reviews, opinions, whatever you want to call it, in this video are based purely on specification and discussions that I had with the Balboa team. So before we get into my views, let's go ahead and have David from the Balboa team explain a little bit more about the product. David, over to you. My name is David Bentham. I'm the commercial manager for uh, Balboa Water Group in the UK. Um, I'm delighted to present our new uh, heat pump, which is called Climazone. Um, as you can see, it's a very small unit compared with our competitors. Uh, one of the major features for us is that we have the, um, the fan on the right side as opposed to front facing, which allows uh, installation closer to the tub than you would with a uh, forward facing fan. So the important part is just to make sure you have sufficient clearance. So uh, away from the fan would be uh, two meters and then you have uh, sort of a, a 20 inch clearance at the back and then uh, round about a sort of four or five inches towards the front. Um, heat pumps are becoming uh, very popular now. I think we've been uh, playing a bit of lip service over the years in the industry but I think with the rising cost of electricity um, and also the impact on the planet that the heat pumps are going to become a, a very, very popular item. Plus, of course, the more that uh, get uh, produced and manufactured will bring the, the prices down. Um, so uh, the, the unit uh, can be mounted on the floor um, and it can also be wall mounted as well. So if you have a, a brick build, um, it can be mounted to the uh, off the wall on a bracket. Um, the energy efficiency on this one um, we uh, claim that it will give you a 50% reduction on energy cost. Um, at the moment, I think everybody is concerned about the, the rising prices and the running of a hot tub. So I think uh, heat pumps are going to be uh, becoming a, an absolute key factor. Um, we've also seen at the show there's a number of tubs that have been produced in the US that are heat pump ready. So they've got the, the plumbing and I think that will become more and more a theme so that uh, when somebody buys a hot tub, it doesn't have to be retrospectively uh, fitted with, uh, with the plumbing. It will just be good to go and it's a very straightforward, easy installation. So our, our Climber Zone unit, the Balboa Climber Zone unit, is only compatible with uh, Balboa system packs and it's our BP systems. Um, there's a slight software upgrade on our BP packs which will uh, allow it to work with this. And we also work it in conjunction with our uh, spa touch panels. So it's our latest sort of spa, uh, spa touch technology. Um, and that makes it a nice, uh, a nice combination for, for all three. Uh, well, we've got the, the product is effectively launched now and we'll have product availability in the UK from March, uh, back end of March, early April. David, thanks ever so much for taking the time to give us a quick overview of the product. So what's my take on this product? I think the best thing for us to do here is look at the pros and cons. Now, obviously, as I said earlier, I haven't seen the product working, so it's purely from conversations and a technical point of view. But firstly, let's look at the pros. It is a fantastic looking unit. Now, it may seem a little bit odd to call a air source heat pump, uh, good looking, but this is a good looking air source heat pump. There's uh, a lot that are nowhere near as uh, as well presented as uh, as the Climber Zone from Balboa. Also, I think the size of the unit is particularly advantageous. Now, Balboa have clearly gone after the the size element so that it can be easily hidden for the plastic shell hot tubs. But for us, that are building block built, concrete built. Again, the size does matter because it would be nice and easy to, to hide this away and, uh, and not affect your overall appearance of your build. I also like the fact that it's going to tie in nicely with the control packs. So we've seen before, if you've watched any of the other videos or read the blog, that 
when we're integrating air source heat pumps, quite often we rely on the flow that's generated by the pump and the spa pack to turn the air source heat pump on and off. So what Balboa are presenting with the Climber Zone is a fully integrated unit, which is pretty cool. And it will give you the option to actually control the heat and fully control the air source heat pump from your top side and your spa pack. So I like the integration element as well. So what about the cons? What don't I like on first appearance about the Climber Zone from Balboa? Well, firstly, the fact that it's only a five kilowatt output. I think they should have gone a little bit larger uh, because it's really not going to impact in any way the, the heat up times of, for your hot tub. Now, granted, it is going to drop the overall costs. And you would have heard David mention that they think somewhere in the region of 50% savings, which is great, especially with the prices of electricity increasing at the moment. Definitely an important factor. But for me, I would have liked to have seen it be at least 10 or even 12 kilowatts so that it, that heat up time would have been hugely reduced. But again, this could be just my personal preference. But for me, I think at five kilowatts, it's a little bit underpowered. The other downside for me is the, we'll call it retrofitability. So the ability to actually integrate this into existing units. So I have a Balboa unit in my own hot tub. I have a, a BP unit. So on, in theory, I should be able to connect one of these units to it. However, the Climber Zone is only compatible with the latest BP units and the latest top sides. So my top side wouldn't be compatible and neither would my BP unit because I can't actually update it to the current version. So in terms of adding this as a retro to existing tubs, I think they've missed a little bit here, but I totally understand why they've done it so that they can have those additional menu systems and the additional controls to be able to control that climber zone from the spa pack. So if you're looking to retrofit this to your existing tub, please do check with Balboa that your BP unit is one that's actually compatible. Because as I said, I've got one and I guarantee that mine is not compatible because it's just too old. And the final downside that I can see, again, I haven't seen this in operation, I'm just going from specs and conversations, is the fact that this doesn't work with all of the top sides that Balboa have. It only works with the new graphical top side controls. So they're the, the, the really nice touch screen. They're fantastic units, uh, but they are quite pricey. So again, if you've got one of the TP600s, which is a super popular unit, it's not gonna work with that top side, unfortunately. So for me, in conclusion, I think they've designed a beautifully small and easy to integrate unit. I think the fact that you're gonna be able to control everything from the spa pack in the future is gonna be great, but it's not good if you're looking to retrofit that to your existing units. And finally, I think it's a little bit underpowered. Certainly for some of the, the larger DIY built hot tubs, it's gonna be a little bit small and it's not gonna help with the heat up time. But of course, it is gonna reduce the running costs as with any air source heat pump, it's gonna be much cheaper than running it on electric. Now, if I can help you in any way with your own DIY hot tub, then please do get in touch. Likewise, if you need supply of this new Balboa Climber Zone unit, please get in touch, drop me a comment, contact me through the website, even on my email, andy at buildahottub.com. I'm always happy to help. Hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.